Fantino. Yes. Well, anyway. No, uh, we're just having an informal uh, visit a visit. by uh, Mr. Fantino. Just a visit, that's all. Sir, I wanted to obviously come and meet. We had arranged to do so. Can I ask you one question? Yes. That's the second meeting you've missed the veterans. What was the other one? Was there another meeting with them with the veterans they were supposed to have? No, that was it today. Okay, I apologize. First time. That was it today. Yeah, and, but, uh, and then, we, and then we, the only meeting I was this question. evening. Yeah, go ahead. You sent three individuals that were military people in the war. They were veterans. No, another one came in. No, another okay. one. Yeah, three. Yeah, you're right. Three. You're right. Three? Yeah. So how much chance do we have? three doesn't vote against us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but, yeah, but Mr. Fantino, oh, we're all the same here. And as you know, uh, it only started out with a couple from the East Coast. But you know now that right across the country, right across the country, the veterans are asking you to keep the offices open. Not just us seven, eight guys here. Every one of our veterans across Canada now you know, there was reasons why they don't want to open, they can do this and they can do that, go to service. Service Canada is definitely not the answer for any of us. You ask, ask. Well, you and the have. veterans will tell you that Service Canada will never, never take the place of our own offices. Never. You have now some 600 points where there will be uh, we're, we're people, right. people there to, to look after and assist you. Uh, the areas where the offices uh, are closed or are closing, uh, there's going to be a uh, Veterans Affairs representative in those offices. As you know, the, the case managers and so forth will still come out to your home. They'll still meet you wherever uh, on, on a needs basis. I understand what you're saying. I'm, I'm sorry to interject. Don't forget the 500 miles. But, yes. You know, uh, where are these case managers going to be located? They're that they're going to come and visit us. You, you're going to be visited at home, as you have been, in cases where you cannot go to a local office, mm -hmm. or, or there's nurses that will come to see you. Uh, where, you where are they coming from? That's what I need to know. Where are they coming from? Like, so in my case, I'm in Cape Breton. Are they going to come from Halifax? They probably will. So they're going to travel the 500 uh, kilometers to visit with me. Uh, and there's somebody in Shetty Camp that's not well either. They got to go there. They'll, when are they going to get to them in Shetty Camp? They'll probably, they'll probably. I can't speak to their schedule, but the 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 plan is to ensure that you are not inconvenienced any more than you have been. Well, you will be visited at home. There's, uh, as you know, there's still the grass cutting will continue. The snow we're, shoveling. Sir, will sir, sir, stop that right now. We're we're not, we don't want to hear that shut, anymore. Shut, that grass cutting and all. No. And, uh, sir, you're I saying want, that there's going to be 600 facilities available to us. So are you going to train 600 people so you'll have one in every one of those facilities for they us? They will be trained up to look after your issues. So yes. you're going to 600 places. You guarantee us that there's going to be someone there in every one of those places to look after us. Well, you know, this finger pointing stuff doesn't really no. work very well no. with no. me. Oh, well, that's we're, just we're, too bad. Don't work well with us that you didn't turn up at a meeting that you were supposed to turn up to. And don't give me this thing about something came up. You bushwhacked us. You bushwhacked us. You got us to a meeting. Put your ministers in there, and you stayed out of it. That's don't fair. get on. And yes, like it is. Oh, hold on. Sir. May I? Sir. May I? That's absolutely untrue. Well, of course, you're going to say that. I was attending meetings to champion some issues on behalf of veterans. Yeah. I'm not in a position to disclose those right now. Of course not. That's your usual way. You don't disclose anything. You were closing down yeah. the places and didn't let us know until yeah. two years I after. I I'm up. Up. I'm up. Up. Just no. All right. I'll, I'll just hold stop. It, I just want one right. little question right. answered. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. As you know now, uh, if this says there's not going to be any more wars, I'd stay with your side. Just tell me that this is the finish. No more wars, no more veterans. You don't need these places. So I would stay on your side because of the, if there's no more wars, no more veterans. Boy, I'd, I'd like to see that. 
Well, you know, this country has, I think, from what Sorry, I can sir, gather, just, let me just thank you been very, very supportive and will continue to be supportive of veterans and families. Uh, we but that have, wasn't my question. Well, but I'm giving you an answer. Uh, my, my, my view is that regardless of, of what may happen, the reality is that what is in fact happening is that veterans in this country are, are, are very much on, on our conscientious regard. Uh, the program services and support for veterans is unparalleled. There are some gaps. Hogwash. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to work. I have to I read your quote here. It's not going to be a read manager. Sure, guys. Anyways, uh, uh, let, uh, let it effective, efficient, and, back and accessible and as possible. Thing. Yes. It's not accessible Well, we at think all. that's correct. Right now, we disagree not with the accessibility. Terrible. By taking these offices away, we're losing the accessibility. Northern Manitoba to the we, border is nothing. Well, you've got 560 points of reference that you didn't have before. We, had, we had a lot more before the closures. Well, look. The, I'm sorry, but it's true. No, you didn't have. There, yes, it did. There's three times as many offices that are available to veterans yeah. from what there was back in 2006. And you have to travel now, eight hours, yep. You don't have to travel. If you can't travel, Excuse they'll me, come I gotta and see get, you. i got to get my shovel. Yep. Is there anything sure. about sure. what sure. these vets have said change your mind about keeping these offices open? No, the, the decision has been made. We found alternate uh, uh, accommodations that we feel will adequately and sufficiently uh, look after their interests and their needs. And uh, we, we, we have 500 over over 650 more points of reference where veterans can find help support and and uh, and be looked after but they're saying service canada doesn't suit their needs so they have to drive for several hours well but but that's not the case if they can't travel to an office then then case workers will come to them like they have been all along can i ask one more question yes sir hey, how come we had three veterans at the meeting today veterans well, what's wrong with veterans? That's just Pardon? what I want to ask you. What is wrong with uh, yeah. yeah. Well, they have an interest. They're veterans like yourself. They've got some stake in the game. And Mr. Fantino, uh, if I may say uh, something we? which wasn't pointed out, that uh, the only people <clears throat> that uh, don't mind somebody's way. somebody come to them are those who have case managers. Otherwise, we come. will have to travel to yeah. them. Is that not correct? Some of these offices are within zero distance of where the previous now closing office will be no, for war. True. So, uh, sorry, folks, we gotta go. We gotta go. That's Thank you. True, Apologize. Minister, I've been to three Service Canada offices in Ottawa asking the same question, and I've had no help whatsoever. They're not open. So I'd like to talk to you about that Anytime. at some point. You know Or that. Mr. Fote. Thank Anytime. you very much. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming, sir. Thanks. Bye, Julian. Cheers. Cheers.